Hi everyone, let's talk about Shakeology. I, yes, I actually have a Shakeology apron. I don't normally wear it when I make Shakeology, but I thought might as well put it on. It's been sent in a drawer since I want it. So anyway, um, uh, let's talk about it. I love talking about Shakeology. I'm going to tell you my story because I think it's very important and I want to make sure that you know um, just where I'm coming from and how I can help you and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so y'all know when I started this program, I was skeptical about everything and probably the thing I was most skeptical about was Shakeology. Um, I had tried another protein powder out, uh, when was that, After right after I had Hank. And so that would have been over three years ago. Or, oh, God, he's four. So over four years ago, um, I tried it out, and I hated it. I didn't know how to mix it. I didn't know when to drink it. I, I just, I, it just was a really, really bad experience. So when I found out that this program that I had signed up for was going to come with a shake, I just automatically was, you know, uh, I had a very negative uh, mindset about it and um, I, I had committed to it so I was going to try it and then on top of that I was having stomach issues and I mean when I say I was having stomach issues I was having really really bad stomach issues it, it was awful um, I, you know so I didn't know like what the shakes were going to do to my stomach and I just had a lot of fear and anxiety and and um, skepticism and and doubts related to Shakeology so then I get my packet of Shakeology and I tried my first shake and I thought, damn, I was right. This stuff is terrible. Then I tried my second shake and it was still terrible. I tried my third shake and I was like, there is no way I'm going to be able to do this for a month. There's just no way I can drink this stuff. I sent a text to a friend of mine who um, had started the challenge with me and I said, I am doing something wrong here. These shakes are terrible. And so she kind of walked me through some steps and she was like, well, let me let you try my strawberry. Maybe you'd like strawberry better because I had ordered vegan chocolate. Um, she let me try it and I was like, no, nope, I don't like strawberry either. This is awful. So guys, I'm telling you, my experience, those first four or five shakes, I did not like them. I love it when I have challengers who have their first shake and they're like, oh my God, that was delicious. I love it because I'm just so excited that someone has that experience. That was not my experience. So I want you to know whatever your experience is, if you struggle with it, if you can't find the right recipe, if you can't find the right texture, please reach out and let me know. I mean, I have so much experience with trying to um, get it to the right consistency and texture, and there's so many things that you can do with it, and that's what I'm going to tell you about right now. So um, stick with it, though, okay? That's just, I mean, I'm telling you now, I do love it. I probably should end with this. I do love it. I've had it every single day. I should have brought out my golden scoop. I just became a 365er, which means I've had a Shakeology every day for the last year. And honest to God, nothing has improved my health and my energy and just my, my insides like Shakeology has. Um, I, this is going to be a long video because, again, I am, I am so um, passionate and convinced about the shake. And then I had the opportunity to actually meet the genius who came up with Shakeology at Summit, which is our national meeting that I went to at the end of July. Um, he's brilliant. And I seriously could listen to him talk about Shakeology for hours and hours and hours at a time. Um, I'm just going to throw this out there. He's written a book. If anybody wants to check it out, first of all, his name is Darren Olean. And you can actually listen to podcasts uh, of him talking about Shakeology. He's fascinating. He goes around the world hunting. He calls himself a superfood hunter. He goes around the world to these really remote, like, jungles and deserts and rainforests. And, I mean, he goes places that I would probably be too scared to go. But he goes searching for these rare exotic fruits and berries and plants and I mean, to hear him talk, it's just so amazing. And I've, I've just started to read this book. Um, if you want to follow him, I think he is on Instagram and Facebook as Super Life. Or just look up Super Life and Darren Olean and he comes up. But anyway, he's worth following, guys. He, he's, he's on it. Um, so Shakeology, just to let you know, like I told you, I had tried a protein shake before. Um, this is not a protein shake. 
please do not call Shakeology a protein shake. It is so much more than that. It has a lot of protein in it and it will count as a red, but it is so much more than that. It has superfoods, probiotics, prebiotics, vitamins, minerals. You know, it, it is the healthiest meal that you will have all day. So um, let's talk about it. So when I make my Shakeology, first of all, when y'all get, you know, you'll, yours will be in a bag or you'll be in packets. So one packet or one scoop out of your bag is one serving. One serving is one red. So you do need to count Shakeology in your container count and then anything else you put in it, you need to count that as well. Um, now, I personally use Shakeology as a snack. It is perfectly acceptable to use it as a meal replacement. You can have it as breakfast. Um, for me, what I did, I, um, I had a bag of sugar too. And I knew that every afternoon, either when my kids first got home from school or, you know, in between the time, you know, from preschool pickup to um, kindergarten pickup, I was, you know, snacking on things like cookies and I'd make them muffins and, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I would always try to make a fun treat for them to have after school. And of course, I was eating it too. So I became very accustomed about 2 to 3 p.m. of having just a sugary, sugary snack that did nothing for me. It had no nutritional value. Um, and yes, I realize as a mom now, I probably shouldn't be feeding that to my kids, and we've changed that. But um, I recognized that that would be the best time for me to have my shake. Your shake will help you with cravings. It'll help you. It, it has helped me so much with my, um, with my sugar addiction. Um, I could tell within a month after having Shakeology that I just didn't have the same cravings anymore. It also will keep your blood sugar, you know, even and regulated. It helps with that. It helps with energy. Um, it helps with your digestion. Um, again, I told you I was having major stomach problems. So I was very, very scared to try it. I thought it would, it would, you know, my stomach was so sensitive. I thought it was going to make it even worse. It actually cured my stomach problems. Um, if you give it a chance, it can really help cleanse you and um, get the toxins out and that kind of thing. If you're worried, if you have a sensitive stomach and you're worried, try starting out with just half a scoop at first, okay? Um, and be careful of what you add to it. Of course, don't add something, you know, that you're already sensitive to to make a shake. Just kind of keep it plain and simple and basic. And then you know, as you go, you can start adding things. That's how I did it. So I started out with a very plain shake with just frozen fruit in it and made with water. And then I started adding things like peanut butter and kale and spinach and stuff like that. So again, let's, let's talk about making the shake and how I do it. There are tons of recipes. You can get really, really fancy, or you can just put in a shake up with some water or almond milk and just shake it up. If you drink coffee, a great option for coffee drinkers is to use your cold coffee as the liquid base for your shake. Because, um, you know, I, I know a lot of times many of us drink like fancy lattes. I mean, I was addicted to honey lattes and spicy ginger lattes from a really cute a coffee shop up the street. And it was hard for me to give those up, but Shakeology can help with that too. So use Shakeology in with your coffee, and I mean, there's just so many options. Um, I'm getting a little scattered now. Let me try to refocus. Um, again, anything you put in your shake, you have to count. I typically add, you know, a scoop of Shakeology. I put in a half a cup to a full cup of frozen fruit, and then I put in at least a cup of spinach. Um, that right there automatically gets you a vegetable. I highly recommend always adding spinach. It's just a no-brainer. You cannot taste it. And if you have a good blender, you're not going to see it or feel it or, you know. Um, if you don't want a yucky looking shake, blueberries and cherries really can hide um, and mask the color of spinach. Um, that's another tip for kids. Um, if you want to sneak spinach into their smoothies, um, that's what I always do for my kids. I tell them it's a blueberry smoothie, but then I load it with tons of spinach and they just don't know because it doesn't turn green. Um, you can add all kinds of things to your shakes. You can add avocado. You can add um, uh, almond milk. Um, like I said, coffee. I prefer water because, again, if you're adding almond milk, you have to count that as a yellow, and I would rather get my yellows elsewhere. Um, I stick with the same recipe a lot of 
a lot of my challengers mix it up and try all kinds of different recipes. That is completely up to you. There are lots of resources out there. I prefer adding about nine ounces, nine to 10 ounces of water, my scoop of Shakeology, a grain of spinach, like I said, a half or a full purple of frozen fruit, and then about six ice cubes. Mix it up, drink it with a straw, and um, if you put it in your Shakeology cup that came with your box, it usually all fits in here. I think these are like 20, 25 ounces, geez. Um, so it'll fit in there. Um, what else do I wanna tell you about Shakeology? It makes a great healthy breakfast on the run. Um, if you're struggling with breakfast, I suggest having it then. I think, you know, most people know like where to fit it in during their day. You can have it more than once a day. That's completely up to you. Um, oh, bananas. Um, now, you know, bananas count a, a full banana. Wait, now I'm gonna say it wrong. It's been so long, I really don't eat a lot of bananas. Um, Oh gosh, I'm sorry guys. <sighs> Watching um, Autumn's video yesterday. Okay, that's right. Okay, she, she confused me because she kept saying one banana. But she was saying one small banana is one purple. If you have ginormous bananas, half of that is, a, is one purple. So just know that um, you know, nowadays fruit is so large. Um, she also talks about that in the food prep videos about how you know, apples these days can be like this big, so half an apple is a serving. But anyway, a trick you can do with your bananas, peel them, get them really brown, um, you know, like this. Go ahead and peel them, cut them in half, put them in a freezer bag, pop them in your freezer. Um, you can also slice them up, it's just harder to count that way. Um, let me know what questions you have about Shakeology. If you struggle, please let me know. If you don't like your flavor, please let me know. Um, the main thing is just please keep in touch with me and let me know what you think and how it's going and if you need any help. Again, I've struggled with it, I know, but it is such an important part of this program. So try it and let me know what you think. Share your favorite recipe with everyone and y'all have a great day.